you can start. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. My name is Amna Safar from class 4B and today my topic is line. Looking at line, a line is a set of points placed together. For example, straight, zigzag, wavy, curved, and spiral lines can be made by placing these points in a special way. Straight line. A straight line goes on and on without changing direction. To show this, sometimes arrowheads are sometimes drawn at each end of the line. Line six. If a straight line is cut at two parts, the part of the line between the cuts is called a line segment. A line segment has two endpoints. Like this is a line. This was a straight line. It's, uh, it has been cut at two points. And like at this point and the other one at this point uh, where it is written A B. Okay, uh, so it's a pass in the media and we are going to read this line as line uh, A B. Ray. If a straight line is cut at only one end point, dividing it in two parts, then each part is called a ray. A ray has only one end point and goes on and on in the direction of the arrow. Example, rays of the sun. Now here I am having a ray. Look, it was a straight line, but I cut it at only one end point. Divided it into two parts, then each part is called a ray. Here yeah, I'm having a link. Here we are going to open it. Ma'am, are you ready? Yes, sir. Not. Okay. Here I'm having a link. Here we are going to open it. Okay, also connect the sound. Yes. And also connect the sound of this uh, video. Okay, ma'am, wait a minute. Ma'am, now can you hear? And measure line yes. segments. We use a ruler or scale to draw and measure the length of line segments. It has markings in centimeters. Each centimeter is further divided into 10 smaller divisions. Each division is equivalent to one tenth of a centimeter. It is called one millimeter. Kids, remember, one meter is equal to 100 to 10 per line segment. Draw a segment MN of 4.8 centimeters. This can be done in three steps. Step 1. Take a ruler and mark point M at 0 centimeters on the ruler. Step 2. Next, mark point n such that it coincides with the eighth division after the four centimeter mark on the ruler. Step 3. Now join the points m and n to form line segment mn and mark it as 4.8 centimeters. Now let's solve Another example, draw a segment AB of 7.7 cm. Segment AB of 7.7 is drawn like this. After learning about how to draw line segments, let us now focus on how we measure the lengths of line segments. 
Let's measure the length of segment MN. Keep zero of the ruler at point M. We count forward from zero to fifteen. Look, point N of the segment coincides with the sixth division after ten centimeters on the ruler. Thus, we say that segment MN is ten point six centimeters long. We read it as length of segment MN is equal to ten point six centimeters. We write it as shown. Now let's solve another example. Yes, ma'am. Measure the line segment XY. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Horizontal and vertical lines. In symmetry, our horizontal line is the one which runs from left to right. A vertical line is one which runs up and down. Like this one is our horizontal line, which is which runs from left. Uh, left to right, and this one is a vertical uh, vertical line, which are uh, which is uh, uh, which runs up and down. A parallel line. Parallel lines are which don't meet meet each other. Two lines in a plane that don't intersect or touch each other are called parallel lines. Parallel lines are denoted by the symbol like this. This symbol. Okay, these are parallel lines. This, these are also all of them are the parallel lines. Now, non-parallel lines. If two or more lines intersect each other or meet each other at any point, they are called non-parallel lines. Like this is a parallel line. It doesn't intersect each other, and this is one is the intersecting one. So this is a non-parallel line. Thank you, and have a nice day. I hope you understand it. Ma'am, I have made a presentation too. I can show you that it's very small. It's about? It's about angles. Good morning and assalamualaikum. My name is Amna Sarfar and today my topic is angles. Now first of all, what is an angle? An angle is defined as the amount of time between two arms or two legs that have a common end point. Angles are measured in degrees. What is vertex and arms of an angle? Vertex. The common point where two rays meet is called the vertex and arms. The rays that make up an angle are called arms. This is a picture of an angle like this. These one are the arms. The blue point is the vertex. And this one all make an angle. Names of angles. Full rotation angle, reflex angle, straight angle, obtuse angle, right angle, and acute angle. And here are the kinds of angles. Like this one, acute angle, it's less than 90 degree. The second one is right angle, it's exactly 90 degree. The third one is obtuse angle, it's included in 90 degree but less than 180 degree. Now the fourth one is straight angle, it's exactly 180 degree. Now the uh, fifth one is a reflex angle. It's greater than 180 degree. And the uh, last one is full rotation angle. It's exactly 360 degree. Now an acute angle. An acute angle is smaller than 90 degree. The following are the acute angle. Like this one, it's less, less than 90 degree. It's less than 90 degree. So it's an acute angle. Now the second one is also less than 90 degree. It's uh, it's also an acute angle. All of them are the acute angle. Right angle. A right angle is exactly 90 degree. Angles given below are the right angle. Like this one is a right angle. Uh, this one is a right angle. Like here we are also have, we have even uh, changed the position of it, but not the angle. 
obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degree and smaller than 180 degree. All of these are the uh, obtuse angles. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you understand it. Very good. Then, uh, keep it up. Your presentation is too good. Excellent. Thank you, ma'am.